Hi, welcome to today's Let's Play. Today I'm going to be playing Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster is a theme park simulator. It's due for release at the end of this year. I'm going to be playing the Alpha version 0.1.3 to be precise. As I say, it's a theme park simulator. There's about two other theme park simulators coming out this year. There's Parkitect, which is a 2D isometric game that I've been doing various reviews of that releases monthly. And then there's Relica's Tycoon World, which is unfortunately atrocious at the moment. Whether it's getting better or not, I don't know. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And then finally we've got Planet Coaster. So I'm going to just fire the game up now. Planet Coaster is written by Frontier. Frontier with the people who've done Relica's Tycoon 3. So it's got a reasonably good heritage. You know, the people who wrote this know what they're doing. Skip that intro. So the main menu's here, and there's various parks you can go to. I'm just going to go to the sandbox field, I'm going to build a quick park, and then I'm going to show you one of these other parks. <laughs> so let's load it in. Okay, the game loaded really quickly, and the performance is really quite good for an alpha. You know, people use alpha, it's an alpha, as an excuse for really poor gameplay or really poor performance. But this game, the performance, you know, it just it just works. Everything works. You slide around. Anyway, in the alpha, there isn't a lot you can do. You can't build coasters. Well, you can. You have to type in a command to do it. I'll do, get to that shortly. Um, there are several rides. So what? One, two, three, four, five, about ten-ish rides there. There's no transport rides. Just some flat rides. Um, there is a ton of scenery props, nature and signs and there's buildings and I'll come to that in a minute. Let me just go straight to the paths first. So I want to extend this path out a bit because it's right on the entrance, I want to make it a bit longer. You can make, paths are quite organic in this game, you can sort of bend them left, bend them right, you can make them fatter, wider sorry, or thinner, narrower and um, you can, I believe, make them longer a bit like that. You can also raise them up if you wish to and learn, raise them up if you wish to, if I could work out how to do it like that, or keep them down on the ground. I'm just going to extend this path out, bend it around a bit, like so, right? That went out a bit of a funny angle, but never mind. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I can delete a section, I just want to maybe oh yeah right click delete so I'm just going to delete this section here and put it back in but make it narrow if I can hang on there's a reason for this son I'll come to it right okay narrow wide okay so it's a fat path gets a bit narrower there then goes wide again uh, let's put it right in that's what this game's about. I'm going to put a pirate ship in. I'm going to stick it here. Uh, I'm going to stick it, stick it there. That'll do. Now, one thing I do like about this ride, this, this game, is up there above my head. It explains to you how what you need to do to open the ride. So you need to place an entrance, place an exit, add a queue to the entrance, add a ticket booth. Right. Okay. So let's place an entrance first. So place an entrance. We'll get it at the front of the ride there. Good. Place an exit. Okay, we'll put that there. Great. Add a queue. I'm going to build a queue. I'm going to make it quite wonky. You can actually have fat queues and thin queues if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to keep to that sort of dimension though. And you can pretty much do anything with a queue line. You can go up in the sky with it, come down with it. I've gone for a, quite a wonky queue line. Uh, let's tighten that up a bit. Okay. Finally, something about Planet Coaster that's different to to Rodicus Tycoon World, Rodicus Tycoon Green is there's no ticket booth here. Instead, the ticket booth comes down here at the entrance to your ride. So you can rotate that round, and I should be able to add that so it sort of comes off the main path like so. I can't seem to get it straight, but the main path really isn't straight. And then all I have to do is add the 
like that, okay? Nice and simple. So you've got the ticket booth there. So I'm pause the game for a second. And a crazy path that goes all the way around to the ride. Um, it needs an exit path, so let's get the exit path in. Let's pick sand. And the exit path isn't going to be so nutty. It's just going to go like that back. Hopefully people will start turning up. So, oh, maybe I need to open the ride first. There we go. Right, the ride's open. So, the thing about this game over previous games, though a lot of people did get into it, was um, is theming. And you can theme to your heart's content in this game. Um, even with the basic stuff, like the props that come with the alpha, you can add so much. So this is a this is a pirate ship. This is going to be like a pirate bay. So I am going to add some props to the queue line. So near the queue line, like that. Like that. Maybe a treasure chest there and one on this side. And I'm going to put some barrels in at the corners. I'll come to them in a minute. But even like the queue entrance here, you can actually do things to it. Like you can go to buildings, decorations, I think it might be under wall. There's, there's so many options. So I might want to put skull and crossbones, for instance, at the entrance to the ride, like that. No problem. Done. To give it a bit more um, theme. Alright, what else is there that I could do? Sorry if I say I am quite a bit, there's so many options in this game. Under decorations there are lights, like spotlights, and you can have various colours of them. So you can actually place spotlights and point them at things. So these barrels that I put in, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to place a spotlight on them. Over there. And point them at the ride. Like that. Because this game's all about the lighting, all about the theming. And maybe I might have a yellow spot pointing into the treasure chests. Like that. Are there any guests arrive? Let's talk about the guests, shall we? Here they are coming down the path. Unlike some other games, the guests in this game look quite natural. They're walking quite naturally. They're walking around in groups. It's, it's what you'd expect at a theme park, to be honest with you. Most people go to theme park with friends. And here you can see that people are walking together in groups. There's a, like a family group there. There's a group of friends here. It's much more natural than, than another game I dare not mention. I mean, I'll start the theming off here. We could add trees, I believe. Hang on, the trees are under scenery. I haven't worked out the difference between some of the scenery and building stuff yet. Uh, let's stick some rocks in. Let's stick some trees in. Um some seaweed hanging off this boat here somewhere hopefully maybe if I turn it around I'm not sure if that's right no I've done it wrong control Z undo but they're all heading towards that now why did I make this path narrow well, it's all about the theming and with buildings you can actually build an entire building you can build a building around a ride you can build a station for your roller coaster um, so you just 
simply select buildings, pick your wall type you want. There's one or two available in this beta, so I'm going to go for sandstone walls. Uh, get the angle right so it's alongside the path. I don't think there's a snap to path option. So, and then you can go up as high as you want. Oh, hopefully I won't struggle too badly at this. Hopefully I don't waste too much time building a box. And then inside the building you can put things. So you can put in facilities which are not shops. I, I'm a bit confused by that at the moment. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. We'll give them away with it an alpha, I guess. But if we go to scenery and go to props, we should be able to find some props we can put in here, like a pirate band. Oh, it's not facing the people going past. Set that back a bit. And then under the buildings, we get some spotlights to light it up. To entertain people as they go past, we can stick their skull and crossbones at the entrance. Maybe put some lights on them. If I didn't fail so badly at the light control. If I didn't fail so badly at the light control. And inside the building there are such a thing called skull lights I believe I can put in. And find them there. There we go, get them around the right way. And just run them along the walls. One above the doorway there, one above the doorway there. So when the guests come in, they're going to go through the entrance, which isn't overly brilliant at the moment. I suppose if I was to put some more theming in, I guess. But yeah, the game is all about theming. So as you see, I quickly knocked together a oh, uh, entrance to my pirate world. The only ride in pirate world at the moment is a pirate ship. Oh, they just come off it. Uh, let's see what's going to happen now. These guys are going to come off. This lot is going to go on. Let's speed it up. Something else I want to show you is it's got a ride cam, so you can go on the rides. And it's got a cinematic one like this where you can get to dramatic camera views or you can actually sit on the ride itself and you can change what seat you're on. So I'm sitting right at the back of the pirate ship. And one thing about this game already, even though it's alpha, I like about it, is the fact that it's got some good music in it. I mean, this, this ride don't know you feel right when you're on it and you're in this view but it has got quite a good little theme going on in the background that if I shut up I'm probably out here I mean, the guests, they all look really good. The music's very dramatic. The view around. And look at the park down left and right. And the, the, right, the sun setting over there. For an alpha, this is very polished. Oh, the ride's over, the music's died down.
I don't think we're getting off the ride. The lights I put in, as you can see, are now lighting up the ride. I'm lighting up the treasure chest to the side. Because it's now becoming night time. The queue line could do with some lights. So, let's see if I can find some. I think they're under scenery. There we go. We put some Caribbean style lights over the queue line. Hanging lantern style. Epic. The sun's setting in the distance. Have a look at my entrance to Pirate World now. You see it's lit up red with the red lights. Oh, if we go inside, the band's lit up in red lights. I went a bit mental, the red lights. And the skull lights on the wall there seem to be good. So, all looks very atmospheric with the music and stuff. So, you can really go to town with theming. And I think, you know, you could spend a long time doing that. And that's a lot of this game. In this alpha, the guests don't have any stats. In this alpha, the rides don't have any real ride management. There's a lot of coming soon, so there's no shops. Roller coasters can be unlocked if you go to rides and search for under construction. Search under construction. That unlocks the roller coasters. The roller coasters are in early alpha though, and I've just lost them, you see. <laughs> see if I can get them back again. And so though it works and you can build, there's no test mode, there's no, there's very little information about the roller coaster. So hang on, let me just pop the station down, show you the quick basic controls. Uh, chain link, and we should it to go up. So you just pull the dot back, and then you click on the dot to put the piece in. And we'll go up one more, and then you want it to go down. So. We Push down on the dot, turn the chain link, oh, that chain link might need to be on one more time, so click and then turn the chain link off and straighten out. You have a, to turn the track left or right you do that, I think there's a way you can, I'm sure there's a way you can make the track longer, oh here it is, look, you can make the track pieces longer or shorter. Uh, let me just build something that's a bit nuts. I mean, a lot of special pieces are in the game already. That loop is never going to work. So let's take the loop out, let's drop the track down again, then do a loop here. I mean, but there's no autocomplete, there's no, there's no, not an awful lot in it, to be honest. It's a good roller coaster builder though, it does work rather well, and it's relatively easy to use, and again, if you spend a long time, you can probably build some really good coasters with it. Now I've got to work out how to get these two to match. And look, the shadows work, the shadows hasn't left a... Uh, not that I'm saying anything about a different game, but Shadow's actually got the track and the supports in. Okay, what am I done here? I'm trying to finish the coaster, but failing miserably. Maybe if I go back one. Extend the track, reduce the track. Build, extend this bit out. Build, no, oh. so close. Oh no, hang on, hang on. there we go. Because there's no auto complete either, so it sort of snaps if you get there. So I've built a really basic horrible coaster. There's no test. There's lots of there's nodes in this this video in this alpha. Then I should be able to select it. Again, prompted to place the entrance, prompted to place the exit. I'm just going to put it here. Add a queue prompt, which I'm going to have to drop down to the ground. Oh, and a ticket booth. It's not going to be a very long queue. Okay, I still need to add a queue. Um, paths, queues.
There we go, there's the queue for the roller coaster. Do a path for the exit. Like that. And then. And then if I didn't fail so badly. Pick a train type. Pick number of cars, click add train, hit start, roller coaster bill. As I say, there, there isn't a. There's no test or anything in the game at the moment. If I speed the game up, it's coming daylight soon anyway. Hopefully, when the guests get here, they'll go on the roller coaster and then you can see it running. Okay, the guests are getting on the coaster. Stop it, slow it down. And the camera. So you've got the cinematic view again, which looks pretty impressive, or we can actually get in a seat. All the seats I pick. There we go, front view. Not the most, but this runs really smoothly. It's not jerky at all. There's another roller coaster game out currently. Roller coaster technique in the world where it's really bad and really jerky. And there we are, back in the station. And that's that's roller coaster building in this game. 101. I built a pretty straightforward coaster, but there's no stats. It's alpha, but it's a good alpha. You you could spend a long time personalising, theming, building buildings. And to show that off, I'm going to exit my game currently and just load in one of the pre built parts. That one will do. Load. Here is a pre built park, and it looks amazing. The level of detail, the level of theming, the rides that are currently in the game. I mean, each ride, I think, has, a, has its own music. There's a roller coaster going round, I wonder if I can get on it. You can see what I'm saying about the buildings, that they've built a roller coaster station. For the roller coaster, so the station's got a building going around it. That's really impressive. So yeah, Planet Coaster was really the the better of the 3D options at the moment for theme parks for this year, for theme park simulators. I would say that if you really want a full 3D experience with personalization this is the one to go for if you prefer the isometric view that that Relicus Tycoon 2 gave you Parkitect is, is certainly going down that route well and Parkitect actually has free is 3d and with mods you can actually turn off the isometric view or you can ride the rides and Relicus Tycoon World um, I'll be amazed if they actually finish the game and actually make it playable. At the moment it's certainly not. They have just recently released an update to the first early release. But you know what? It's got to pull off some sort of miracle because I can't find it what seat it is that the trunk view there you go. As I say, it's got to pull off some sort of miracle because I mean look at this game. Look how smooth it's running. I mean I'm not sure how it'll encode. It might be blocky after it's encoded but it's running as smooth as anything I want to do here. The game needs a lot of work still, there's missing shops, there's missing staff, there's missing guests, uh, not guests themselves but less stats, there's missing stats on the coasters, I think it's got no ride stats either so you've got absolutely no idea what you're building. Um, so it's a long way to go but it's a very very promising start. Oh there's a building over there, I didn't notice that, what's that over there? Oh, some random theming. Okay. Anyway, um, that's Planet Coaster. Thanks for watching.